Hey guys and welcome to another episode of Let's Max Warframe. Today we're going to be taking a look at something slightly different. By taking a look at the brand new companion, the second sentinel to be primed, Carrier Prime and its weapon, the Sweeper Prime. Now Carrier is the sentinel that's been in the game seemingly forever at this point, and has consistently shown itself as by far the most popular companion in the game, by a long, long way. So building on that popularity with a Prime version is definitely a good way to go. But why are people so excited by this Prime version? Well the original carrier was renowned for being extremely useful for loot collection, at the cost that it was ridiculously squishy. And from the standard carrier to the Prime, the shield capacity of 100 has remained the same, and its power max affecting the use of its powers is still the same of 100. However, these are really the only things that have remained the same. Carrier Prime has had its health doubled to 400, and its armor tripled from 50 to 150. What this means is that Carrier has instantly gone from the squishiest of the Sentinels to instantly the tankiest in one fell swoop. Carrier itself comes with two abilities. Main feature, which is Vacuum, sucks up all the ammo, mods, health, energy from around you, and adds it to your inventory. And Striker, which means it's going to attack literally any target that comes into range. And that nicely brings me on to one of the other things that people are really excited about the Carrier Prime, its new Sentinel weapon, the Seeker Prime. Now the original Sweeper was already a very decent and capable weapon, however the Sweeper Prime, wow, where to start with this? It's a straight upgrade in literally every single department. An additional 18 base damage bringing it up to 60 damage a shot, with the majority 51 coming in the form of impact, 3 in puncture and 6 in slash which is an addition of damage in every single damage type. It also comes with double the magazine size of 20 rounds. It comes with a faster reload speed of 2 seconds compared to 2.3, higher critical damage of 200% compared to 150, and an additional 1% status chance bringing it up to 15%. Honestly, I can't think of a single bad thing to say about Carrier or the Sweeper Prime at all. Normally, I try to list its good features and then counter with negatives, but with the Carrier Prime and the Sweeper Prime, I really can't do this. The only thing I can say really is that the bug where Carrier refuses to pick anything up of your drops or whatever, it is still in the game, and thus occasionally the Carrier is going to break for no reason whatsoever and you cannot use it to pick up items anymore. And when you have a downside to a piece of equipment that is literally only a bug that's going to get fixed eventually, that you'll know you're on to a winner. Now, in terms of drop tables, much like the Vexus Prime, I'm going to put the current drop locations in the description below, and I will update them if and when they change. Although I will be honest, I had to do over 80 runs in T3 Exterminate to get the Carapace. Although, it does mean I'm good on Ducats for the, probably the next 10 years, so I guess each cloud has a silver lining. But with the potential change to drop tables coming up with the new star map, I don't really want to put hard and fast in the video where they are going to drop. So like I say, I'll put them in the description below. Okay, so let's move on to starting to mod the Carrier Prime. Now it comes with the V&D as standard, however we're going to add two former, which is another two Ds. Now we've got four abilities that are going to be on the Carrier Prime at all times. We've got Vacuum, which is going to bring up all of your drops to you, and that's going to be things like health, energy, mods, ammunition, so that is very, very useful. We've got Guardian, which is going to boost your own shields when your own runs out. We've got Striker, which is going to attack every enemy that comes in range of the um, of the Sentinel. And we've got Regen, which is going to mean that the Sentinel is going to regenerate once when it dies. Now, it's hard to see that it's working, but you will notice every now and again, if it goes to zero health, zero shield, that the Regen will kick in and it will get all of its health back. And that is Regen working. Now, for these two Ds, we're going to go with Steel Fiber to increase the armor to 315, and Vitality was going to increase the health to a massive 1280, making Carrier Prime easily, easily the tankiest of any of the Sentinels. Now in terms of other abilities, we've got Animal Instinct for the loot radar and enemy radar, Sanctuary, which is going to create a shield around us when we're trying to revive an ally, and this can mean the, like, the difference between life and death at certain levels is an extremely useful uh, skill to have. We've got Coolant Leak, which is going to project an aura around the Sentinel, which is going to slow enemies within, I think it's about a 2 metre radius, and this is absolutely incredible versus the Infested. We've also got Fired Up on here. Now, 
Until recently, there wasn't a huge amount known about what overheat does. And basically, it's just as your sentinel weapon fires, the longer it fires, the more it overheats. And as it overheats, the damage increases. Now, what Fired Up does, it basically um, increases that max cap on the overheat damage by an extra 60% which can really, really give you a very nice boost in the damage of your Sentinel. Now, in terms of changing that up, if you don't fancy the overheat damage, you can always put the redirection on there, which is going to increase your survivability that little bit further. But the reason I go with the Fired Up is because my Sweeper Prime isn't there for max damage. Now, it's really there for the um, for utility, really. So we're going to add a single former to the Super Prime. It comes with uh, two Vs as standard. We're going to add another V. So we're going to have a go with Prime Point Blank for damage. House Chamber for multi-shot. Shotgun Spurs to make it fire faster. We've got Blaze for the heat damage as well as the extra white damage. We've got Frigid Blast. And we've got Scattering Inferno, which is going to all combine to make Blast damage. And Toxic Barrage and Shell Shock for Corrosive. Now Corrosive is one of those that is pretty good against all of the factions especially when you start taking into account scaling especially in the void um, so going with corrosive is always a fairly good idea but I really really want to max out that blast damage and the reason for that is I'm going with a massively massively status focused build so I've got nearly 80% status here and the blast is by far the biggest damage type which means it's going to prop blast more often now the reason I go for Blast is just because it keeps those annoying things like the, I mean, the scorpions that like to come in close. You've got the butchers that like to come in close. And having that Blast damage is absolutely fantastic just for keeping them off your back. And I find this to be extremely, extremely useful for helping survivability at, at all levels. Even at higher level, if you knock down an enemy... I mean, if you're, if you're up against a Bombard and you knock down the Bombard, he's not firing at you. So I find this very, very useful at all levels. And personally, I think it's worth sacrificing the extra damage for. But this is the reason why I go with Fired Up, just to help counteract that damage loss just a little bit. So is Carrier Prime and the Sweeper Prime worth the time, effort and resources to farm and then to max them? And the answer to that is pretty simple. Of course it is. There is a reason Carrier is the most used Sentinel. The utility of the vacuum, it synergizes really well with things like ammo mutation and really allows those bullet host type weapons to be able to function effectively. And for loot acquisition without having to run over literally every single mod or resource drop on the map, it makes it really very very nice to use. And now with the survivability of the carrier prime, it absolutely outclasses the other sentinels by quite a long way. I know Shader Wormer still have their uses but they're so squishy that the higher level void a single bombard absolutely decimates either of them, whereas Carrier can now uh, withstand quite a beating, meaning that it's going to stay alive longer in a mission and be way more worthwhile than a sentinel that gets killed two minutes into a survival. Now it does raise the issue of whether Worm Prime does deserve a buff, and I would probably argue that it does. I really feel that it needs bringing up to the same survivability as the Carrier, although that goes into the realms of power creep, which becomes a very dangerous game because if you bring new things out, then buff old things to match it, then the overall power of the items keeps going up and up. Regardless of that, I really do feel that Worm deserves a buff to bring it up to the same or a very similar level, since I've been honestly wanting a HP boost to Sentinels for ages. Well, to be honest, ever since Bombards in their 5-shot burst Ogres became a thing anyway, and they die within 5 seconds of starting a mission. Now in terms of the Sweeper Prime, in terms of modding it differently, you can of course mod it, mod it per faction if you wish with the faction specific damage, or you could put more former on it for things like the 11 point elemental mods. However, I personally don't do this. While the damage of the Sweeper and especially the Sweeper Prime is pretty fantastic, in fact I would clear the entire star map with just the carrier doing the work for me at this point, I don't go for full on damage. And the reason for that is my carrier is my close range defense. I use corrosive as a damage type because it's reasonably effective over all the factions. And while blast, uh, well blast has like it has penalties in different places, but that is what I'm modding for for the most. Because in all honesty, for me, the sweeper is there to deliver blast props to enemies that get too close to comfort. Things like those sneaky butchers or against anything infested. 
and we're just under 80% status uh, chance, it procs a lot. And it saved my skin more times than I dare to count. It's definitely the only weapon I'd recommend only a single build on. And it's definitely the only one where I stack all of the dual stat mods. But for me, the utility of it way, way outweighs the potential damage. So the Carrier Prime. Fantastic survivability. Great utility that helps out those low ammo or high consumption weapons with an incredible, incredible sentinel weapon to go with it. I think I found the replacement for my standard carrier for sure. In fact, to be honest, it's hard to see that I'm going to use anything else. As always guys, many thanks for watching. Please remember to leave a like, subscribe, it helps me out a ton, and I shall see you in the next episode.